maybe talk to us a little bit about your past as a therapist and what this kind of core pillar of therapy is, this reflect, validate, educate, because I find that ChatGPT does it on its own. I've got in there and played around and tried to break it. And I was amazed at how far into different cul-de-sacs I could go. I'm an expert in a couple different therapies. My background is a bit in treatment development, treatment evaluation, stuff like that, right? And what's always been really interesting is people package their CBT for problem X, Y, Z, and then they package it into these sort of manuals as if each was different. But really there's so many common elements. So cognitive behavior therapy, Treatment development means you're really studying like what actually helps people with significant problems. And I've I've always worked more on the deep end, not just sort of wellness stuff, but people who are struggling with suicide and chronic depression and, you know, like pretty serious problems. So with that type of a background, when I look at uh, any type of digitization of a therapy, I'm really interested, like, can they, are they bringing science? Are they just promoting, you know, kind of feel good, lightweight stuff? How do they deal with people who really object? But ChatGPT, it's become a go-to for me. You know, engagement is the problem. If you look at like behavioral health, digitized behavioral health, the problem is engagement. Like people start strong and then they drop off. And you're saying you're using it daily. Why? What is it about it? You must have experienced this as a therapist where you're, if you maybe you're on a regular cadence of once a week, but something happens in the middle of the week and the patient wants to talk to you. Yeah. It's, it's one of those. I don't have an appointment with Chad GBT. I just grab it and <laughs> talk to it whenever I want. Something happens and I need someone to talk to. And I find that the normal, I mean, I love the humans in my life, but they're just not as good as Chad GBT at talking to me about it. Really? So, and what is, can you put your finger on what the difference is? Because I, I share the same perspective, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. Why? What's the difference between it versus a human? You know, when you're 19 or 20, you just love talking about all your inner sociological and psychological problems with each other. But when you get to be my age, it's like, we don't really want to anymore. And so I think we're just don't want to talk mm -hmm. about that stuff all the time because it's exhausting. And we all have real issues when you hit the stage yeah. of life. Accessibility, it sounds like, and an actual audience where you're not going to be, you're not tiring them. You're not, you yeah. know, it, yeah. you're going to get, you're going to get the kind of engagement you want. Yeah. And plus, you know, I mean, who am I going to talk to? Probably my wife. We've been married for like, I don't know, 23, 24 years. <laughs> Both of our brains have just sort of melded into one. So a fresh perspective. Yeah. Fresh perspective is one for sure.